Hey guys, it's Jen from My Crate Crafts. Today's going to be a quick video on making t-shirts. Have you ever wondered if you can make your own t-shirts or kind of went to the store and said, I really like that, but it's too expensive for me? I'm going to show you a quick video tutorial on how to create your own t-shirt. my screen I'm gonna show you really quick so I have this YouTube channel I create crafts my husband and my family and I have one called homestead how I will leave the link below in case you're interested in watching some of our funny videos and then my daughters who are actually triplets Emma is behind the camera uh, she is a triplet I don't know if many of you know that but we have triplets plus one um, so I'm going to be making t-shirts for them because they are starting starting a vlog as well so theirs is called triplet vlogs so I'm gonna make some t-shirts for all of us today and I just want to do a quick tutorial on that just in case you're interested and you wanted to kind of learn how to do it but you just start with a file so I have two files here I actually bought the homestead how one from fiverr.com and they created it for us um, we just kind of told them what we wanted and it was really amazing they did it really quick and they did an amazing job and then the triplet vlogs Emma did that one she did a really good job on that one and so I'm just gonna make two t-shirts so this is what I have the first thing you have to start with is the, obviously your file but then and you just want to change the size and I just take the mat and I put it onto the shirt just to kind of see how big I want it so I know I wanted it roughly 10 by 10 so the only thing you got to do is just kind of figure out the size so I'm just gonna pull a little line down here the double arrows and make it a little bit bigger and kind of see how it goes and then this one we needed it to be uh, roughly 4 by 4 so I'm just gonna go up and unlock this and most of you probably already know how to do it that's why I'm kind of going really quick for this part um, if you don't know how to do it leave a comment down below and I will be glad to make another video on this but since I'm doing it I figure I would just give you a quick video to whatever size you want to do and then you go from there so I have these two I'm gonna go to make it and then it's on my black here I'm going to be actually using white so I'm using uh, white HTV white uh, heat transfer vinyl. So when you're using heat transfer vinyl, you always want to go over here where it says mirror and then it'll just flip your image for you. So that is the only thing that you have to do. Emma is saying something. Are you going to turn, are you going to screen record the, that? No. You should. Like she said, am I going to screen record this? I'm not. This is just a really quick video tutorial showing you guys. If you want a full video video tutorial on this, leave a comment below and I will take the time and make one step by step for you guys. But this is just showing you that you can make anything you want. You can make pants. You can make a pillowcase. You can make anything you want. HTV is amazing. So here it is. I have it here. I mirrored my image. So the only thing I have to do is go to continue. It's going to tell me to select my machine. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually in a new office. My husband and I share office, an office now, which is amazing. So my Cricut is not set up in here. It is set up in my other room. So it's going to ask for which machine you're using and then also what setting you want to put it on. So I'm going to use um, the Cricut non HTV because I don't use Cricut brand very much unless you know I get it on sale so I'm just gonna choose which um, setting I want so I'm gonna use the Cricut or the non Cricut HTV heat transfer vinyl and then I'm gonna cut it out I'll weed it out really quick and then I'll show you guys how I put it on my t-shirts I actually have a heat press that I use I think it's at 350 degrees for 20 seconds but I'm gonna double check and let you guys know but I'm gonna finish cutting this out I'll print it out and then I'll weed it out no, I shouldn't say print. I'll cut it out and then I'll show you guys how I put it on again. Okay, so I had finished weeding these out. Is that the right way? Yes, weeding these out. So I have the triplets vlog and then I also have the homestead how one. Um, so like I said, this is going to be a very quick video, but I just want to show you I did weed them out. I picked the size that I wanted and I have my heat press. Emma, if you want to come over here. I have my heat press set at 315 for 20 seconds and it all depends on what kind of fabric you have. I'm using cotton. I actually purchased these uh, t-shirts from Hobby Lobby and they were like 30 or 40 percent off and it's pretty nice um, fabric. So these are for my daughter. So we're just going to put this on really quick and I'm just doing a side up here. So kind of just want to 
lay it out flat and then I'll press it just for a couple of seconds that it gets warm and then it also gets flat. So then, upside down. <laughs> then the next thing you wanna do is figure out where you wanna put it. So we're gonna take it and put it up here. And depending on where you want it, is that good, Emma? Yeah, I, I think there. so. You wanna figure out, it's about three inches down from here. You're supposed to do it when you do it in the middle. So maybe I'll put it down just a little bit more. Um, but basically you just gotta figure out where you wanna put it. You don't wanna put it too close to the armpit. <laughs> Um, but once you get it where you like it, make sure you get it straight. Uh, I know that there's like t-shirt rulers and stuff out there that you can buy. I just kind of eyeball it to see where it goes. I'm not selling this, so I'm not worried about if it's a little bit crooked. But if you do sell it, you want to make sure that's completely straight. Then I'm just going to use this paper to put it over. And then I'm just going to press it. Oops, my press is too tight. I'm going to loosen this up. And then press it for the 20 seconds. And I love, love, love this heat press. I talk about it all the time. I'll leave the link below, but it so beats an iron. I guarantee you, you will not want to go back. Um, it might, it's more expensive than an iron. I think this was about $120, but it's so much better than an iron. Sorry, my daughter's taping. <laughs> it's so much better than an iron. So it's finished. Just pull up, take your paper off, pull this back slowly. I always go slow to make sure I'm not pulling any pieces up that might need an extra press. Oh, looks nice. But just like that. So I will show you guys. So here it is. Just like that. Little triplets vlog. Go check it out. They're brand new. So give them a thumbs up. Give them a subscribe. But that is my daughter's, my triplets um, logo and their YouTube channel. And then I'm just going to do the same with my husband's shirt. I just have a black t-shirt here. And this one is gonna go right here across the top. So one thing I know to do to find the middle, again, they have like those t-shirt uh, rulers that you can buy, but I just like to eyeball it. Like I said, I'm not selling these, so I'm okay with it if it's a little bit crooked, but it's just for our YouTube channel. So to find the center part, I like to just put the ends together right here and then put the arms together. So as you can see, so it kind of gives you the center of the t-shirt. So I just lay that down, make sure it's nice and flat, gather it up on the side. You just want to make sure it's, everything is equal. And then again, I just press it for just a couple seconds, holding it down just to get it heat and get it flat. And then also, you'll know where the center is. It should give you a crease right in the middle. So if I pull this up, back up, Emma. There's a crease right down the middle for you so you don't have to guess where you're gonna put it. So I'm just gonna take my shirt, lay it back up here. I can see the crease going down the middle. I don't know if it shows up on camera. And then I also do the same with the file. I do it not sticky side, obviously. So I'm doing it backwards and I'm gonna line this part up and kind of get the center. And I'm just gonna crease this here so I can kind of tell where the center is on here as well. So I'm just gonna line it up. And you wanna do about three inches from the neckline, so roughly. So I'm just gonna take this and actually take a moment and look at it to see if it is centered, which you should always be able to see it from here, but because it's black and because my lighting is not too great in here, it's hard for me to see. But then you wanna make sure that your logo is not on an angle or anything and it's where you want it. One thing I like to do is just hold it down just for a second, lift it up just so it gives it a little bit of, of stick to it, and then hold it up and kind of look and eyeball it again. Maybe this is just me, but that's just what I like to do. And I like where it is, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. Lay it down, make it nice and flat. Make sure that your, your file is all on the press. You don't want anything laying over the side. I bought the bigger press and I'm so glad that I did. Take your sheet, put it down, press it for the 20 seconds, and then it's all done. But again, it's so easy. Again, it's so easy. You can make whatever you want. Like I said, I make Adidas things. I make uh, personalized things for my girls if they want. You know, if they have a best friend, you can make a best friend shirt. I think pink is really popular right now. Um, but yeah, as long as you're not selling those things, you're okay to make them yourself. But always look into that. So this is finished. Pull this back, 
And please be careful, this is very hot, obviously. And then you just pull back. And some of the heat, some of the heat transfer vinyls are cool peel. Mine are all just warm. So right when it's done, you pull it off. So here is this one. I'm going to make a few more of these. I'm going to make two more of the triplet vlog ones, but they're that simple to make. So make sure you use HTV. Make sure you mirror your image when you're in a uh, design space and have fun, create things. I would love to see your guys' creations, whatever you guys make. Um, once you start, start, you're not going to be able to stop. I just want to keep going and make more. So the only real purchase is the t-shirts. You want to get cotton. Uh, make sure that it's not going to shrink on you. And it's uh, recommended that you also wash your um, fabric before you put your stuff on it, just in case it does shrink. Um, and then when you wash this, you want to wash it inside out like any other one. But I've had these for years and years that I've made and that never comes off. So as long as you press it really well and you don't see any bubbles or anything on here like I don't now, you did a, I did a really good job um, putting the heat on. It was the exact amount of heat and the exact pressure. So always watch out for that. So I hope you guys like this quick tutorial. I hope you go and make your own t-shirts and pants and whatever, um, but have a lot of fun doing it. I love to see your projects. Please subscribe and happy crafting everyone. Bye.